Braddon. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The negative impacts of the government's dithering on the backpack attacks are coming to fruition in Tasmania. Sassafras orchardist John Brown said today in my local newspaper that he expects to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fruit due to the dire shortage of backpacker labour. He is 60 pickers short and clearly states that this is a result of the coalition's disastrous and bungled backpack attacks. Apple growers were told by backpackers last season that they would not be coming back to Australia to pick apples this season because of the government's then proposed backpack tax rate of 32.5 per cent. Apple and Pear Australia warned in August last year that the dithering of the government on the backpack tax was going to hurt the industry, and here's the proof. And what happened to the $10 million, adverti $10 million advertising campaign whipped up by the government to attract backpackers to come and work here? Clearly, that was a waste of money. Had the government not gagged the debate on the bill last year, they would have heard my calls for this money to be used to focus on backpacker jobs in Tasmania, Western Australia and the Northern Territory. The government needs to tell the industry what, is it, what it is doing to ensure Tasmania's apple crop will be picked in time and how it will fix the damage caused by its bu bungling of the backpacker tax. I call the member for Fadden.